John here, guys, and today we're talking about the TP3, the toothpick three. I don't have my toothpicks. No, you don't need toothpicks. From FPB Cycle. Finally, I'm getting my hands on one of these. I kind of missed the boat. You know, I had some of the first few toothpick videos up online that have gotten like a billion views. And I still have one of those original toothpick frames, ooh, which basically kind of turned into the baby tooth. And the TP3 is essentially an individual arm version. Now this right here, I have with one of these toothpick boards. This one I have right here with the Beta FPV toothpick board and I have spared no expense. I added my own receiver, none of that SPI junk. This is an FR Sky XM Plus receiver. I'm using a Cadex EOS 2 camera on here. And of course, the main ingredients, the Team Black Sheep Micro uh, VTX. This is that little tiny unifier that goes up to 400 milliwatts. It's an excellent option for video on here. Now, why did I just not bother to make one of these for so long? Well, it's because I was too busy out flying the Diatone Cube 339. Yes, Kebab also put input in creating this. And when the two pick three came out, it's not long after, I just thought they were going to be the same. I thought they're going to be the same. I thought they're going to be the same. And let me tell you, they're not the same. I should have flown this uh, months and months and months ago. Um, this has the original toothpick formula, the AMAX 1303 motor that is 4,800 KV. And I recommend running that on 3S. This is the recommended battery tattoo, 450 milliamp 3S pack. And so what are the differences between this? So if you flow one of this, should you still build one of this? I would say yes. Um, this is excellent, so much fun, but this is a little bit faster. This 1105 motor right here compared to the 1303, you get a bit more power, especially down low. It is addicting power. It is full size power. Um, and you get an, a, a little bit of a lighter weight with this formula right here. Uh, it's just unbelievable how this thing flies. You can't believe that you're flying something so fast. You can't believe that you're going speeds so fast. Your fingers and your eyes can barely catch up, but they can keep up. You didn't even know that your skills could move so quickly. And that's because the maneuverability and the control that you get with this formula is exceptional. This is the Jim Pan 3018 prop. Um, and I do recommend this prop. It's not too heavy pitch for this small motor and it has an immense amount of control. You don't really want to go any faster than this. Um, so now the main differences is this is very light. This is very spindly. This um, beta FPV style camera thing at the top, or is it the newbie drone camera thing at the top? Isn't really going to be meant for taking a lot of hits. As you can see, your camera is so exposed, but this is so light. And the thing of it is, it has so much control that you almost never crash it. You feel like you're going to crash at all times, but your fingers just adjust. So if you are an experienced flyer, you can really pull, fully push this at the limits of what it's capable of doing and not worry about crashing. If you're still a newcomer, you can adjust your camera angle a little bit lower. You can see I have a fairly nice camera angle of about 50 degrees, which is unheard of for something so small. In fact, you might think it crashed into the ground, but this has so much thrust per weight that you actually stay in the air perfectly and it just tracks like it's on rails, like a bullet, man. Uh, if you haven't tried one of these, I don't think there's been a bind and fly that's come out that quite gets you there. The, Q the Q239 is close. Um, I would say top end, this might be slightly faster, but lower. This is blistering speed and it's so much control. You have a lot of control here as well, but man, this is more and it's lighter weight and it's so quiet. You can barely hear this thing. Uh, if I had to do it all over again, I'd probably put Crossfire on there just for grins. Um, but man, everything goes so easy. Everything's exposed and that's okay because it's so light. I kept thinking I was gonna smash this. I don't think it's gonna be able to take too much of a hit, but these extra arms, um, they are replaceable and they're very inexpensive. Uh, it actually has an exceptional amount of motor protection out of the ends of the arms. You can see I've kind of ground those down a little bit, but excellent option. If you're looking for something to build that's not too expensive, I do recommend you get a quality VTX. It makes all the difference. Um, 
go ahead and definitely install a capacitor on there as well to keep these electronics components safe. The toothpick boards, especially for this class, are perfectly stable now. So now's the perfect time to dive in. Thanks, guys. <music>